Y'all, we're back with five new UFO sightings that will blow your mind. We're going to start with Miss Mama Mercy in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. At 10 p.m. on June 7th of 2024, she walked out of her hotel room and down to the beach. She says videos don't do it justice. At first, she saw a UFO in the sky that was moving at a steady pace with a dome slash triangular shape behind it. Although she's constantly looking to the skies, she's never seen anything like it. She grabbed a clip of that UFO, but she felt that it was fairly faint. After about a minute, she put her phone down. Then, this bright orange light on the horizon flipped on like a switch. She immediately grabbed her phone, stunned by what she's seen, and recorded this video of both UFOs. It's the mothership. <laughs> what the fuck? It was completely dark. It was just... Is it going away? <gasps> oh my god. We just caught that on camera. <sighs> Next, a submission from Tripster941. Tripster says they just wanted to see if anyone could help them identify these UFO and UAP. He claims he sees a lot of UFO and UAP at night. They're usually around him and his wife. However, this is the first time they've seen a UFO during the day. Now take a look at this beauty. Where'd it go? It's right there. Hey guys, can you swing me? I don't know. It looks kind of weird, don't it? It's like I'm not focusing on it. It's weird. It what the hell? I see it. I don't think so. Look. Is it a moon? It's a rocket ship. I kind of see a moon. Zoom in. It's as far as I could go. But look at it. Hey, Daddy. It just stopped. And then went forward again. Hey, Daddy, do this. Did it? You can see better. You said I have binoculars like this guy. Look. Oh, yeah. I don't know, something's floating up here. It might be a plane, I'm not sure. This next one blows my mind. It comes in from Side Production, who says, We had just finished setting up camp when we were heading down to a water source to refill, and this light suddenly appeared. He drifted over from the left of the mountain slowly, and when he first saw the light, he assumed it was a hiker with a flashlight. That is until he realized that the light was hovering over the mountain rock with no body present. That's when stunned, he grabbed his phone to record. He claims that in the video it doesn't move and he didn't get to record or see it disappear because they had to finish their duties before nightfall. But check out the video and let me know what you think. Next, we have an elongated Tic Tac UFO recorded with night vision. This comes from Carl Montana, who gives this description. This morning, June 5th of 2024, I was fishing in a small creek when I noticed something blurry moving through the sky to the north. The best that he could compare this blurry shape to was uh, heat rising from a pavement on a hot day or gas fumes when it leaves that weird kind of wavy haze. He claims it looked literally like a blurry section of the sky, just kind of moving along in space. He had a digital night vision device on his lanyard that he was using to check for trees while fishing because it was a new moon, so there was no light in the sky. Out of curiosity, he looked at the blurry object through the night vision monocular, and what you're going to see in this video is what he saw. And after he saw it, he immediately pressed record and didn't stop until it disappeared.
This next one comes from Mental Chillness in Oceanside, California. He saw this May 26th of 2024 at around 9.30 p.m. He claims he and his wife saw three orbs of light. One light and another flashing. It flashed three times when he asked. His wife then said that she saw another orb, which he then turned, panned the camera to look at, and he actually caught it vanishing on camera. Take a look. So we see this orb and it flashes frequently. Will you flash for us again, please? Oh, I see it actually. I see it. I think I see it. Oh, there it goes. It flashed again. We got two orbs. There's one orb that's very dim and then it makes a flash. And then you can see an orb up there. To the south is the dim one. Will you flash again for us, please? Thank you. Oh, look at that. It flashed right when I asked it to. Will you flash again for us one more time? please all right i'm gonna focus on the top one then thank you oh there it was flashed over here interesting flashing orb all right and then i'll focus on this orb right here we saw the interesting flashing orb we're getting crazy orbs tonight well, not only did we see an an alien v ship that was cloaked that was moving so fast there was no way close, yeah there, where right above, right above us okay all right thank you for showing yourself i love you have a wonderful night where is it it's up there. oh i see all right we're going to see another one right above us they always appear right above us i don't know why they love being right above us but it's almost so hard to get hello you are so beautiful thank you so much hello. this like we've we've had like over 10 orbs already tonight maybe 20 even like they are everywhere. Like I prayed before. I was meditating and praying for a wonderful show. I still got one. I'm still filming one. It's pink. A lot of pink ones tonight, I noticed. Oh, yeah, now it's fading. Orange. Now it's fading. You saw an orange one? Yeah, the ones that I saw that was flashing looked like pink and orange. That's it. Now those are the five most recent UFO sightings. Each one more compelling than the last. I loved these sightings, not just because they were from real people with great colorful commentary, not with an angle they were just camping or hiking or fishing, but because they're all recent. They're all from this year. They're all from this month, except for the last one being from last month. This is an event. These are things that are happening right now. They're happening every day. And honestly, they need more coverage. So I'm glad I could bring some of these to light. I want to know your thoughts on each and every one of these videos in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Are these UFOs? or something else. Are they alien or interdimensional? Are they angels or demons? We have a lot of mysteries to solve, <laughs> but I want to take the journey with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that dislike if you didn't like this and you don't want to see the aliens. <laughs> and I'll see all of you guys next time. Remember, keep looking up.